Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Danielle. Let's talk about books. Hi guys, I'm Danielle. Welcome to my new booktube channel, DNJ Reads. I am super excited to be here. I never in a million years thought I would be doing this, but here I am. My channel name just comes from my initials, DNJ. That's me, Danielle. And I put the word reads with it. So today I'm going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. I figured that that was a good first video to do so you guys could get to know me and hopefully you'll want to stick around. So I'm just going to jump right on into the tag and the first question is, why did you start this channel? I mainly started this channel because I love reading and I want to share my love of that and all things bookish with other people. Not a lot of people in my real life read the same types of books that I do, so I feel like it gets really old when I just talk and talk and talk and they have no idea what I'm talking about. I do have an Instagram, which is also DNJ Reads, where I talk about my books, but I watch a lot of booktube in my free time and I really want to get more immersed in the community over here, so I'm really excited to be starting this channel. So question two is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? So one fun thing that I hope to bring to booktube is my personality. I'm quite an introvert, but once I get going, I can get pretty animated there. I know it's going to be a little bit hard in the beginning, just since I've never filmed before and this is totally new for me, but I really hope that my personality will shine through in my future videos and that you guys will want to stick around. I also hope to show off some lesser read authors and books that I don't see mentioned here often, as well as bring some new takes to some well-loved booktube classics. Question three is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? I would say I'm really excited about meeting new people and just putting myself out there. I've never filmed or edited before, so this is a whole new experience for me, and I really just want to have fun. Question four is, why do you love reading? I love reading mostly because it gives me an escape from real life. Don't get me wrong, I have a great real life. I just love having the ability to pick up a book and be so immersed in that world and those characters that I don't want to put it down. Reading is definitely my happy place, as I know it is probably for a lot of you too. Question five is what book or series got you into reading? For this question, I don't really have a concrete answer. I can't remember a time where I wasn't reading. Growing up, my brother and I were always at the library, my mom would take us on the weekends, and we would take home stacks of books. Reading was always something that was just incorporated in our life from a young age. My parents have a built-in bookshelf in their basement that my dad put up for us, and I used to love that thing. I remember going down there and seeing all my mom's old books. I know she had the Bopsy Twin books down there, and those were probably the first books that I really remember reading, along with all of her Nancy Drew books. Another series that really shaped my childhood was the Magical Wizarding World series by She Who Must Not Be Named. We won't be talking about that on this channel, but I feel like a lot of us read that growing up and it definitely shaped my love of fantasy. Twilight was another popular series when I was growing up that I read that definitely shaped my love of vampires to this day and I thank it for that, but I really don't want any sparkly vampires anymore. I did have a bit of a slump when I was in college where I wasn't reading that much, but the series that got me out of that slump was the Shadowhunter series. City of Bones was my favorite book for a really long time. It's romance, it's fantasy, I found it really easy to understand since it's an urban fantasy setting where it's mostly our world with just a little bit of fantasy added in, and I think I attribute that to why I love urban fantasy so much now. All of those series have really shaped my reading over the years, and I wouldn't be the same reader without them. Question six is what question would you ask your favorite booktubers? I think I would just ask, what is something that you know now that you wish you knew back when you were starting your channel? I would love some tips and tricks. Question seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Probably just getting out of my head and actually filming, not trying to be perfect right away. It is super weird to talk to a camera with nobody in the room. That is something that I'm definitely going to have to get over. Editing is another thing that I've never done before, so this is going to be a new experience for me, but I'm really excited to take it on. Question eight is when did you start reading? I know I touched on this in one of the earlier questions, but I've been reading my whole life. I can't remember a time where there wasn't a book in my hand or where we were at the library. The love of books has always been coursing through my veins, and I don't think it's going to stop. <laughs> Question nine is where do you read? Most of the time you'll find me reading on the couch in my living room or outside on my front porch if it's a nice day out. 
I can pretty much read anywhere though, so as long as I have my book, I'm good to go. I do have the Kindle app on my phone, so I normally read during lunch at work, or if I'm like standing in line at the store sometimes, I'll pick it up and just read like a page or two here or there. Uh, audiobooks are another big thing that I like. I don't listen to them too often, I really do have to be in the mood for them, but most of the time I'll pick them up if I'm driving somewhere, or even if I'm just cleaning the house, I'll put one on and listen to it in my headphones while I'm going along. Question 10 is, what kind of books do you like to read? So I'm mainly a romance and fantasy reader, but I will dabble in other genres. Occasionally I'll pick up like a sci-fi, mystery, thriller, or even a memoir, but those are few and far between. There does normally have to be some romance in whatever I'm reading for me to even be interested in picking it up though. And the last question, question 11, is what does your book collection look like? So as you can see behind me, this is most of my book collection. There are some shelves that you can't see right now. I do plan on doing a bookshelf tour at some point. Probably not right away though because one of my shelves is really not looking so great right now and I need to do a little bit of organization before I film that video. So I'll do a quick little tour for you of the ones that you can see. Over here on these shelves, I have all my sprayed edges, stenciled edges. Over here, we have all my Shadow Hunters books. They go pretty far that way since I have quite a lot of them. Up top here, we have some SJM books. So I actually used to have full on rainbow shelves and I really liked the way that that looked, but I found it really hard to find series since they were separated and if I didn't know what the spine looked like, I only knew what the front cover looked like. Sometimes that was really hard as well. So I thought it would just be a little bit easier if I went back to series together. And then I still wanted to keep the rainbow. So I did just a rainbow of pretty much all my fairy loot and Illumicrate books here. I really like the way it came out. And I think I'm going to keep this iteration of my shelves for a bit longer. Well, that was it for the booktube newbie tag. I hope you liked it. If you want to stick around, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!